Well, at first sight, there seems to be a very natural way to test string theory. If indeed inside an electron, inside a quark, or inside any particle, if there really is a little tiny filament of vibrating energy, a little tiny string, well, look for the string. I mean, take a particle, look at it really, really deeply, and see if inside there actually is a string. Now, the challenge to carrying out that experiment, which is a very sensible approach, but the challenge to carrying out that experiment is that the strings in string theory, at least in the conventional description, are incredibly tiny. They're about 10 to the minus 35 meters across. You know, a decimal point, 34 zeros and a one in meters. That's such a fantastically small number, it's even hard to wrap your mind around it, so it's good to have an analogy. If I took an atom and magnified it to be as large as the observable universe, then a string under the same huge scale of magnification would grow to be roughly the size of a tree. So a tree is to the observable universe as a string is to an atom. That's why it's so hard to test string theory.